You want this? Get it. Hi, Puffins. Okay, so apparently y'all really enjoyed my last DIY cat toys video. It's one of my most viewed videos. So, like, why have I not made another one? I don't know. But now I did it, so here it is. I just got three, uh, maybe a fourth bonus one if you stick around to the end. I would if I were you, it's like the easiest one. So enjoy and here we go. For this first one, all you're gonna need is a toilet paper roll, empty of course, and a pair of scissors, that simple. So you take this and you cut it, you're supposed to cut it into four strips that are like similar in um, width. But the last one I just made, it, I could only fit three together. So I don't know how you're supposed to put four together, honestly. And then real simple, you're supposed to just do that. And like wrap, put one in the middle, then put that one in the middle of that one. And then like, you know, form them into like a ball shape. So like, just mess around with it, you know, until you get it. And then you're supposed to put another one on, but like, I don't, Oops, I don't see how I would do that. I mean, I can try it. This one is kind of bigger. I just don't, there's no need. There's no need for this fourth one because this is pretty stable. Like, Mamrie, come get the ball. So there's simple toilet paper roll ball. Kitty cats love it. Now for the second one, all you're gonna need is a five by five piece of felt. I actually did six by six inches because my little ruler is a six inch long ruler. Unfortunately, I only have this like it actually looks better on camera. It's like a mustard brown color. It's gross, but it's the only color of felt I have. So you need that, scissors, and then you need a ring, like a plastic ring off of a milk jug, or I guess you could make a smaller one with one off of like a 20 ounce bottle or something, but yeah. So first you're gonna take your felt, you're gonna cut it um, as evenly as possible. You're gonna cut it into, it said, the thing I read said 12 to 14 strips. I'm just gonna cut like, kind of semi-even ones until this is done. Um, obviously, they don't have to be super even. You're gonna tile them anyway. All right, I literally got 14 strips out of that. Perfect. So then you take your little ring and it's set to just, you know, loop it through. You're gonna take it one by one and you're just gonna double knot it right around the ring. Real simple. One and a two. You see where I'm going with this? It's gonna be real cool once we're done. Um, I'm just gonna go in time lapse that again because uh, no one wants to watch me do all this. <laughs> and there you go. It's called, what was it called? I saw it on some like Frisky's ad, this thing. It was called like a spider, naughty spider, I think. It looks pretty cute. I feel like if you did it in a bunch of colors, like it would be real, real cute. And it feels like stable. I mean, it, that plastic's not gonna like break, you know, but it's also not gonna touch them. And I guess if you, obviously, you could add more if you had um, some of the plastic showing, but I was able to move them around to where we don't. Perfect. All right, now for this one, all you need is an old t-shirt, of course, our trusty scissors, and that is all. I told y'all these were easy. They're so easy, so quick. So all you do is you're gonna cut three strips from the bottom. I like to use both sides whenever I'm cutting up t-shirts just so you get more material, you know, and you can always make them shorter if you need to. So you're just gonna cut three strips from this. Um, I also like to start at the bottom because I like the part underneath the hem, or the hem, I guess. <laughs> We're in Chelsea. And also, once again, this does not have to be a perfect cut. It's, you will not be able to tell at all once it's done. Go ahead, Chelsea, just cut right on the seam. Have the whole thing fall apart, that's lovely. Now that you have your three rings of t-shirt cut, uh, you're gonna obviously cut them, not obviously, I don't know how. You cut them all three in half. So now you have three really long pieces of t-shirt. Now this is when I like to take an extra step and stretch them out. I learned to do this when I was um, making t-shirt yarn, which is real fun. I can show y'all how sometime if you want. Um, it just makes them like, I don't know if you even see, it makes them like round up like that, you know? So especially for what we're about to do with them, that's gonna make it way easier. Now you're gonna take one end of all three of them and you're gonna simply tie a knot. I'm actually gonna double knot it and then I'm also gonna cut off a little bit of the excess because I moved a little too far down. Now, you're just gonna braid it. You're gonna braid part of it at least. All right, I found this little clippy to put it in, so I just literally like shoved it down so it won't come out. That's pretty stable. Uh, but I don't know what to attach this to, so I'm just gonna hold it in my mouth. I or stick that in my mouth and braid it like that. That's how I used to make macrame in elementary school. 
Once you've got that much braided, or however much you want, there's still, Rigby, see my cat's already playing with it. <laughs> um, once you have like, I have that much left, so I'm obviously gonna cut some of that off, but I don't want the end to be that long. So, you're just gonna take that, once again, um, not up the end, so it stays. Also, the, where I saw this one, the woman had actually used like five and done this weird braid, but I was like, that's so unnecessary. Why do you not just braid it normally? Like, that's still a toy. <laughs> okay, so I just double knotted it right there and then have this excess. I'm gonna cut, I'm actually not gonna cut off too much, but I am gonna make them even. I'm gonna cut off like that much. There we go. Take it out of the clippy and there's the toy. It's so cute. So, so cute, so fun. It's fun for me to play around with. I think a dog would really like this too. All right, now we're gonna test them all out. Stick around after these three for a bonus toy. Fun. Okay, kitties, y'all want the ball? <gasps> all right. What about the knotted spider? You know, they just may not be feeling playful today. Usually they play play. I have a good feeling about the blue thing though. You can, oh, you got it from me already. Oh, okay, this one's a hit. I knew this was gonna be a hit. I'm gonna hold on to the, I guess you could hold on to either part, but I'm gonna hold on to that part. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna only hold on to one of them. Okay, get it, Ruby. <gasps> yeah, oh, I knew it. Ooh, see, and it's like stretchy, so you can like play tug of war with them. Let me have it back. Can I have it back? Can I have it back? <laughs> Get it. Okay, Rigby likes it. Now for their favorite toy. It's the bonus toy. Every single time that I get a cup of ice out of the freezer, I spill ice all over the floor and they love it. Mamrie. <gasps> yes, yeah, she heard it. Get your ice. <gasps> Rigby, get your ice. They love it, and I read about it, and apparently cats just love that, especially during the summertime. Well, they're not really playing with, I feel like they know they're on camera, it's so weird. Yeah, no, okay. Oh, okay, well I hope y'all enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, you know the drill, you know the drill, and I will see y'all next time. <laughs> Have a great day.